I can't actually see it. I think it's on. Yeah, I never really know if it's on or off this camera. There's the hill fort. There's Hinky Point. The Carn's up there. It looks a little bit more organised than it usually is. I'm just wondering if someone's actually been up there and tidied it up and you know, because I put a picture of it on a year ago and said, and I've talked about it, that con. I've talked about how I came on the 7th and I walked along here on a beautiful morning and um, I'm totally unaware of a massacre. I was totally unaware of a massacre. Sticky, see. Sorry about that. I'm turning the cameras around, and <coughs> I got a feeling you can walk down that way somewhere to get over there as well. There's so much to explore. You think you've done it all and there's loads to do. I've done all the basics though. I've done all the basics. So I'm just going to have a steady walk up to the car now. And the same sheep are probably here that met me last year. The odd toadstool. Look. There's one. That's a bit like the one that was in the field earlier. There'll be a lot more of them out soon. But at least I managed to get a picture of that big red, what big red one. That was massive. It was like a pancake. I think I was lucky last year I had the con. I was able to have it to myself for a little while. And um because it's midweek, there aren't quite as many people, but some people sit on the con. And uh, they have picnics. There's a meeting place as well. Hey, sheepies! Oh, you've got lovely fur. You're going to need that soon, aren't you, with the weather changing? Hey? You're going to need that soon. I'm sorry about that if you're twisting and turning. <laughs> it's because I'm using two cameras and I've got jelly all over them and they're sticking. Yeah, we climbed all the way up there a couple weeks ago. I think it might be the 17th of September. It might be the 13th. I can't remember to tell the truth. It's all in the logbook. I bet they haven't got my stone on there. I think I haven't been able to find a stone actually to put on there. I was going to pick one up much earlier on the path. Look at all you sheepies! You getting ready for a party? Eh? You getting ready for a party? Looks like it. I got some lovely pictures of you last year. I bet my stone's gone, don't you? <sighs> Someone's put a much bigger one on, which does show up actually. <sighs> I just have to pick one up. Mine might still be on there. <sighs> yep, 
Yeah, I don't know. I've put a different one. I'm going to put this pink one on. I'm going to put this pink stone on, folks. This is in <laughs> for my piece for my kids, for my friends, my family, and peace for the planet, the world, for the animals, and especially for Palestine, Lebanon, and hope Israel and Iran can sort out their differences. So I'm going to put this one on the top, a nice pink stone. That's a piece. That's my piece stone. It's not the same one as last year, but it doesn't really matter. People swap and change them around anyway. I just want to put another stone on for my brand new great grandson, Vinny Joseph. And I'm just going to put that on there for him. Um, he's new to the world. And like other lots of little babies that I've seen born in Gaza recently, same age, born the same day as him, and they're on the streets, surrounded by bombed buildings. I got. I'm sorry, I'm talking about it, and, but when I was here a year ago. On the 7th of October, I had no idea what was going on in, over in Palestine, Israel. I had no idea when I was up here. And I was really happy I was up here placing stones for peace. Thinking of what a magnificent place this is. Even though we got the beast over there, which is Hinkley Point. And... Um, I never knew for many hours after I left here. And I'd been on a bus and a train. It was very quiet on both of them. I, no, but nobody spoke. People don't talk in England. We know, not really, not a lot. So it wasn't I got home. Put the telly on, put the kettle on. And it came on the news. So. And it was absolutely horrendous. I was going to come back on the 7th, but the weather's going to be really bad. I don't, I really don't like risk getting wet, so I've come a day early, two days early. Or is it three? It might be four days early, but I might, I, I don't think I'll come out again on the 7th. No, the plan was for the 7th, <clears throat> but the weather is not good. And it's not very nice. It can be very bleak up here. If you've got a gale, force wind and rain. So I've done it in advance. Remembering all those 41,000 Palestinians that were murdered by the Israelis. In my eyes, they were murdered. They allowed that massacre of their own people to happen. They never stepped in. They didn't have any idea about the build-up. And I don't believe it. That, that Hamas were preparing to attack that festival right next door to the Gaza Strip where those people saw rich kids dancing and having fun was there was the Palestinians a repressed people so basically this is for the people of Gaza I'm doing this I, I, I have done it for the people in the festival it's not their fault. They were let down by their very extreme right-wing government who were intent on... Oh, Christ knows what. But this is, a, for me, this is a good place to come and remember people. And it's, I was happy last year when I stood here. I'm not now. There's a war going on between Iran and Israel with America providing weapons, us providing backup with drones and that sort of thing. I think it's really bad. I think it's really bad. It's just stop. If they don't stop supplying Israel with these terrible weapons, they're just so cocky and cheeky. You know, they're like the spoiled child with the big gun. 
They haven't learned a thing, if you ask me, since the last world war. They haven't learned anything. Anyway, over and out, that's my thoughts, everybody. As I stand here on this October afternoon, and here's my flock. See, they're all listening to my sermon. This is my sheepies. They're listening to me, aren't you, everybody? You like the story, don't you? They know. They know. Right then, let's go.